Hey, what is going on everybody? Scott Gaming here. Thank you very much for joining us. As you can see, we're back. We're playing some more Football Manager in the Shadows. Let's play with Tranmere. Um, we are into Season 3. We're in League 1. Uh, and we've, we've had a busy transfer window without it being fantastically uh, successful. But uh, we'll have a little look at what's going on. Uh, Bednar is a little injured, actually. Uh, what is our 75 minutes of action? Let's swap this round. We'll put Owens on. He can come on if need be. Let's go and have a little look at our, our transfers, first of all, before we do anything else. Uh, so we've, we've got some Russians coming in. Silly me, I signed them. They don't join until 2022, and they're not going to have a work permit. So these two Russians are not going to be great for us. And we've got an Egyptian who I think is going to be in a similar sort of place. Uh, but as you can see, it looks like he's doing very well. We've got them in on trials, which is how we got them to the club. Uh, could pr uh, improve a lot in the future. So looks like this guy is the one who I've got a huge amount of hope for. Um, could improve a lot in the future, uh, but already is kind of as good as some of our some of our fullbacks. 16 years old, but again, going to have to wait a year, two years to get him in and then get him a work permit, which is a huge amount of time to wait. Uh, he's going to be 23, 24 before we can even play him, I would imagine, unless unless the board are very nice and or the um, immigration board are very nice and offer us a, an opportunity to bring him in. Let's have a look at the um, the transfer history. This is the easiest place to see who came in and who came out. So we can see that El Hassan has gone on a free. We can see that J. Emmanuel Thomas has gone on a free. I am still playing some wages for him. Uh, and then we've had a lot of, of players coming in. Um, some good, some bad, some indifferent. So Sandro Antonio came on a trial. Um, we signed on a... On a um, signed on a loan and sorry signed on a free transfer and doesn't look great as you can see so this kind of proves that sometimes it just doesn't quite come off uh, in this in this transfer window the ball the scouts are telling me they look good and then we got him in not great then we had uh, Marku come in and uh, actually he's he's exactly the same he came in board was saying he looks okay and he's come in and is one of our one of our starting midfielders uh, which is great news for an 18 year old Albanian um, okay, next up, have Rhys Cole. So you'll know Rhys Cole. We had him on loan last year. He had a fantastic season for us. Uh, he was out on a free, so we we signed him. It doesn't necessarily start in our front in our midfield, but uh, he's there or thereabouts. Then we have Thiago Andra Andre Andre. Uh, we needed some fullback cover, um, so I dipped into the free transfer market. Um, and have signed a couple of Portuguese fullbacks. Um, let's have a little look at them. Uh, three stars, three and a half stars potential, you know, not going to set the world on fire, but 23 years old. Thought actually having a, a slightly older fullback uh, or a few older players in the team would do us quite well. And another one here, two and a half stars for, for this guy, but he can play all the way down the all the day, way down the wing. I actually want to get him to train to be a defender right Um just a fullback, I think. Let's put him on support for now. Yes, we want to get to do that. Okay, he is injured at the moment, but that's something he's going to do. But actually, we've also then been on uh, to our affiliate club, Liverpool, and got a few people in on loan. So we've got Tagzif. Looks very, very good for his age, 19 years old. Looks like he's going to be a fantastic addition for us. And as you can see, he's the best midfielder at the club. Uh, we then went and got Hoover who um, you may have known from the FA Cup tie that happened uh, a few months back. Um, Liverpool versus Wolves, where Liverpool lost. But this is the 16-year-old uh, who came in and played at centre-half. Um, so uh, lots of lots of potential there. And as you can see, is our best right-back. We then went and also got Brewster on loan, who um, you may know, you may not know, is a... Uh, uh, rated really highly by Jurgen Klopp. Uh, hasn't played any games yet, but has been out injured for a year. But as you can see, as a as an attacking right midfielder, as a striker, looks like he's one of the best players in that position. So uh, that's good news as well. We don't play an attacking winger, so he's he's going to be covering. And then we got Dietmar Etmiv Etmov Vitmov. That's got to be how you say it, isn't it? Dietmar Vitmov. 
It's got to be that. Uh, a goalkeeper, we needed one. Our other goalkeeper wasn't rated very highly. Uh, he's come in three stars, so it looks like he should be pretty good for us. He's uh, Bulgarian, but he's actually also English, which is pretty good. Um, so he meets some of our criteria. Lots of people who are struggling for sharpness. I didn't show you how we do in the uh, in the, how we did in our friendly, so we'll have a look at that in a second. But this is a big step up for us. This league, uh, we're going to have to be at our absolute best to try and get anything out of this game. Uh, clear minds, off we go. Yeah, this is this is going to be tight. Um, we'll play our first two games, and then the transfer window ends. So we'll uh, we'll put a cut in after these two games. Uh, I'll get the transfer window out of the way, and then we'll. Uh, Oh God, it's not a good start. Three minutes in, we're a goal down. Let's um, let's get rid of these because we don't need them. This was this was poor. No one closed him down. He just ran, fired it into the top corner. Not a great start. Let's hope that's not a sign of things to come. We'll close this for now as well. Hopefully we can create a chance. Ratucci's injured, so we're having to play Christophe Fufu on the wing. Um, there's Rigo. We've got the ball out wide. There's Rigo again. He's going to have a chance. He shoots. He scores. Get in. We're back on terms. Now, one thing I would say is we weren't very good at defending in League 1. Uh, sorry, in League 2. Uh, I assume we're going to concede a lot more goals in League 1. We haven't really done anything to improve our defence. I guess the one good thing is we should improve naturally I guess as our, our young players get older as long as they're developing so uh, fingers crossed that happens but uh, eight minutes gone we're back on terms we are struggling a little bit for for young players um, homegrown players because all of our players have been brought in um, so we're struggling a little bit on the bench for that it's a good challenge Ganchez with the ball, plays it long down the field to absolutely no one. Surely we had a better chance of countering than that. Okay. Ganchez does well. So far we haven't... Oh, Brewster's in. Oh, Brewster. What was that? Um, so far we haven't... Um, haven't had to let anyone go that's... Is he onside? No, no. So far we haven't had to let anyone go who is, um, who's got a lot of potential, or looks like they've got a lot of potential. Uh, we haven't had the offers come in for that. Looks like he was onside to me. Um, the other thing that happened actually, uh, we sold Ramirez last season to Huddersfield. I went and cashed in the uh, sell-on clause just because there was so much stuff that, you know, so many seasons and it might be a bad move, but it was worth two and a half million pounds. So we went and cashed in that. So we've got three and a half million pounds in the bank. And the board came along and said, we're going to build a new stadium at very early days on the plans. In fact, they don't know where it's going to be. They're looking for, for some land to do that. Um, but they were saying that the, um, the maintenance on our current stadium is just too high because of how old it is. So they're going to look for, for a new modern stadium that hopefully reduces the maintenance. So um, that will be interesting to see. We had a friendly against Liverpool, which was a sellout, which was quite nice. Um, 60 minutes gone after a bright start. It's kind of calmed down a lot at this moment in time. Throw in from Hoover. There's Owens. Um, might be time for Bednar. There's Tagsif. Our cross was blocked, and here they come. Long ball down the field. Thiago Andre cuts that out. Okay, let's um, let's do something like this. There we go. Phillips with the ball. We haven't had a corner. That's the problem here. That's why we're drawing. Cole out to Owens. Last contribution from Owens before he gets subbed. It's not great. Chris Dufu is going to keep that in. Uh, Tagsif. Up to Andre. Ball down the line is on. Tagsif again. Cole. We've seen him score from here before. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. His long shots from the edge of the area are insane. I don't really know if his stat is any good for them, but good lord. Did well to work the space, but then, bosh, have some of that. You ain't stopping that, keeps. Screamer to start this uh, this season off. Yes, we want to make the changes, please. 
think about going more defensive sooner rather than later, I think. Corner ball, though. Thiago Andre with the corner. Phillips was there. Cleared away. Cole on the edge of the box. Ganchez on the edge of the box. Uda is not going to get there. Tried to force that one a little bit, and here they come. Can we get a challenge in, please, boys? Or at least stop across would be lovely. Okay, we've got back and got ourselves set a little bit, but they are still working the ball around us. Well in, Cole. Someone come and get it. He's in. Uda's in. He shoots. He's hit the bar. God damn it. Okay, let's um, make another sub in the middle of the park. I think making that change seems quite wise. Um, and I guess we should probably go more defensive with some time wasting on the go. There goes Bednar running down the down the wing. Rigo, Uda, Rigo again. Andre. Let's just hold on to the ball here if we have to. Andre just bursting inside. There's Banks. Oh, smacked it straight at the keeper. Probably could have slid in Uda there, but um, drilled it towards the goal. Andre with the corner. Probably should get Cole taking those, I guess, but we'll have a little look in a second. Ten minutes to go until the end of this game and potentially our first win in League One. Four minutes of injury time. Free kick right on the fourth minute. Headed clear. Played back in. And there's the end of the game. Get in. It's a great start. But we we had the opposite last season and went on to good things. So let's hope uh, let's hope this isn't the start of, of the reverse of that. Uh, okay, next up we've got Bristol Rovers. Um, a lot of people are chasing Evans again, who's our, our youngster. Um, who we don't want to see leave. Um, Cole, well done. I wasn't really sure whether to go for Cole or not because you know he did well in that, did well in the the lower league. I wasn't sure if he could step it up, but that's a great start for him. Um, Yeah, his goal definitely looked like it was onside. Okay, let's uh, let's go straight into the other game. But before we do that, we will just go and have a little look at the uh, preseason preparation, just so you guys can see uh, what happened during those those games. We'll reject that offer. Uh, another young player that we've got, and we'll ignore that for the time being. Let's go to the. Uh, the schedule just so you can have a little look so uh, yeah, our preseason started with Man City under 23s which we won 3-1 we then played Aberdeen at home and lost 3-1 Chorley we beat 2-0 Bishop Storford we beat 5-0 narrowly lost to Huddersfield got thumped by Liverpool and then uh, and then we got a result against uh, Gateshead but uh, yeah not a fantastic preseason but this was the this was the good thing about the preseason just so you can see um 3.82 million. A lot of this money came in from um, from gate receipts, I would imagine. Expenditure this month. Uh, gate receipts this month, nothing. But I don't know how you see last month. But um, that would have been from the, the Liverpool game and the uh, the amount of, of tickets we sold for that. So I think if we have one of those every season, we should be pretty good. Um, okay. Season ticket sales were sold 3,000. Um, they're encouraging since we only sold 2,700 last year, but we are in a league above. We also got 400k for um, TV rights, I think it was. So that's pretty good from a from a league point of view. I didn't think they'd be that high, um, but to be fair, they probably should be considering how high the uh, oh okay. So this guy, his agents include. Our other player, I didn't realise that was the case. Right, let's keep going anyway. Um, our other old player, sorry, the player, the goalkeeper we sold to Crystal Palace. I did try and go in for him on loan to see if we could get him back um, just for, for the season. 
Uh, because I guess if we get him playing for us and performing well, then potentially we, when Crystal Palace do start playing him or they sell him, we'll get more money because we've got the sell-on clause. Um, but uh, we've gone and brought in our own goalkeeper because I'd rather develop our players than other teams. Um, okay, we're encouraged by our preparation. We're ready to go. We're about to take on Bristol Rovers, who are ninth. AFC Wimbledon in the Carabao Cup. I think we also got Burnley under 23s and another and a League 2 team. I can't remember who that is. Um, but uh, here we go. Millwall make an offer for um, Jose Maria. Uh, Jose Maria is a, a youngster we've got, 17 years old. Looks pretty good. Potential ability is quite high. Um, came in from Garam, Garament. Never heard of them. Uh, but they are chasing him as well. We don't want to sell him, so let's just keep rejecting those offers. Um, him and Evans look like they might have quite a lot of potential, and I guess we should probably think about playing them in the uh, in the Carabao. No, not the Carabao Cup. The Checker Trade Trophy. Sorry, um, but uh, there we go. Fitness test not required. Crossing out, career out. Okay, let's keep going. So, guys, I would love to know based on our based on our team and how we're looking. Where do you think we're going to finish this season? How do you think we're going to do? Let's quick pick this. Um, let's keep going with what we've got here, I think. Do we make any changes down here? Let's, I think we stick with what we know. Make that change because we want you to go, actually. Um, so at the moment, the only people who are interested in... Um, the only people who are interested in, is there a way, selling team, wage contribution, remove and exclude from negotiation? Let's try that. Um, the only team who wants him at TNS, and TNS um, want me to pay 1.3k towards his 1.8k wages, so not prepared to do that. Uh, I'm interested to see this guy come back, um, which would be nice, but um, got to wait a little while. Um, and I guess we're ready to go, so uh, let's just... Squad available for under twenty threes until match fit forty five minutes, and squad available for under twenty threes forty five minutes. Okay. Get you playing any games, and I guess we'll do the same with you. Squad available for under twenty threes until match fit forty five minutes. Have we got a midfielder on the bench. I don't think we have. Get you on the bench. Okay, let's go. So, big game. Big game. Second game of the season. First home game of the season. Let's, uh, and over the system, and we'll just get kicked off under this one. So, Bristol Rovers, we're at home. Our first home game of the season. Be interesting to see how big the uh, the crowd is. There's Ganchez. Ball into the middle is available. Togzef will play it to Cole. We don't like moving with the ball. It's like we're playing netball at times. Um, long ball out wide. Bednar's going to pick that up. Run goalwards. Cross is blocked. Cole shoots. Oh, I should really look at his long shot stat, but that's a hell of an effort. Okay. 20 minutes gone, nil-nil. Not a lot happening. We have had more of the ball. We've had more of the chances, but haven't really hit the target or anything substantial yet. There's Hoover. There's Bednar. Up to Tagsif. He shoots just wide. Okay, Rochdale are losing. Our chums from League 2 last year. Cole with the corner. Come on, Phillips. Disappointing. Tagsif is going to keep that one alive. Play out to Christophe Ofu. Shot, well over. It looked well over, whether it was well over or not, I don't know. It did say so close in the commentary, but okay. So yeah, I'd love to know what your thoughts are for this season. Where we should be aiming, how you think we're going to do. Um, 
No, I don't know if the, the first game might well have been a bit of a red herring. Brewster's in. Brewster scored. Get in. Won the ball back. He's playing that high press from Jurgen Klopp's days at Liverpool. Put the defender under pressure. Did well. Did very well. And then finds the top corner perfectly. Get in. Was a mistake by that um, by that defender, but we'll take it. Okay, dressing room. Let's uh, tell the boys that we appreciate their efforts and keep going. Okay, long ball down the field, flicked on. Hoover's there, and there's Ganchez. We look all right. They're not putting a lot of pressure on the ball. That's that's pretty good for us. We just get to to pop it around a little bit. Christofofu out to Bednar. Bednar wins a pen. Who is going to take it? Brewster's going to take it. Fair enough. Might change that. I want one of our players scoring more goals than Aloni, if I'm honest with you. Um, oh, my Lord. You ain't stopping that, Keeps, unless it hits you in the face. But nice, just after half time we'll take a 2-0 lead into this. And we're up into second place, we've got an injury, a uh, left back. I think we've got a left back on the bench in Buxton, so that's pretty good. Anyone else looking tired, wanting to come off? Riga isn't doing a lot, let's make that change there. Okay. Throw in, Buxton to take. Uda wins the header. Tagseth to Cole. To Buxton. Drills it in. Cole is there. Thought we were going to get a thunderbolt from him, but uh, not to be. Nice ball out wide. There's Bednar. Cross is blocked and they've levered it down the field. Gench has, has stopped for some reason. Good save keeps. What were you doing? Centre half. Sent half who's scared to go and get the ball. Okay. Here they come. Ups and with the ball in the middle of the park. Sixty three minutes gone. That would have changed the game entirely if they'd have scored just then. Hopefully we can win this back. Phillips with the header, straight back to them in midfield though. Hoover wins the header, there's Cole and there's Bednar and hopefully we can bring this away and create a chance or lose the ball. It's entirely up to you Bednar. Switched it out to Christofofu. Shot well wide. Okay, 65 minutes gone. Let's just see if we can see this one out. Tags are brings the ball down in the middle of the park. And there's Cole. Passing's just a little off this early in the season. Not going to get to that. Long ball down the line. Here comes Rodman. Bednar working to get back, but they're in. They've scored. Oh dear. 20 minutes to go, and they have been the better team in this second half. Kind of just played the ball round us there. Okay. Let's go defensive. Let's go time wasting. Let's see if we can get a goal from this corner. Cole, get there. Well in. Fired across. Fired back across. Ooh. Not sure that headering it towards the near post was the option there, really, but. Okay. Where's the ball? Well, we've got it at the back. Okay, big kick, nice. Well done, Cole. Brewster will have. Brewster will have. Looks like a good signing. A hat trick on his home debut. The fans are going wild. This could be big for us. Getting this early confidence in. 
good first touch, tidy finishing at that near. Oh, I thought it went into the near post, into the far post. Well onside, good little ball from Cole. He started this season fantastically. Uh, yes, we want to continue with the changes. It's all three of them. Looks like they've changed their formation a little bit, but we are, uh, we're seeing this one out. Five minutes of injury time. Throw in from Buxton. There's Banks. Loses the ball. Here they come. Or rather, they didn't score, if I'm honest with you, boys. Great football, though. Just cut through us. Okay, two minutes to hold on. Giving the ball away, look at him, just rip through us. Hoover didn't track his man. Great finish into that bottom corner. Blow the whistle please, referee. Oh no. Oh, come on, what? Are you sure? Sure that geezer wasn't offside standing in front of our keeper? No, he wasn't. Ah, oh, keeper dived out of the way. Rubbish. Hell of a strike, but come on. What a way to draw a game. God damn it. Hmm. Can't throw away a lead like that, you morons. Okay, right. It's not been a bad little start. Broken ribs out for seven to nine weeks. Ouchie. Okay. So they have made an offer. We're not offering him any any um, wages, which is good. Let's send the assistant. We're going to put a cut in here. We've obviously got a long season to come, uh, but tomorrow is the transfer window deadline day, so I'll I'll play through that because it takes forever. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe button, follow us on Twitter at Scott Gaming. We will see you again soon. Thank you.